Done with the dishes, now time to take out the leftover food trash. Ugh. Oh, sorry. I was just practicing my trombone. White Rice Sensei here with a couple of tips on how to keep your Japanese kitchen sink smelling clean and fresh. Let's head over to the kitchen. So how are you taking care of food waste in your Japanese home? Did it look a lot like the beginning of this video? If so, don't worry. I'm going to give you these two tips to show you how to make it a neater and cleaner experience. So tip number one, go ahead and pick up these little sink food nets from your local Japanese grocery store or home store, like a NAFCO or a Conan. And these things you can get about 50 for a buck or two. And basically all they do is they fit inside that little sink trap. Whenever your net gets full of stinky, yucky vegetables and food waste, just take the net out, grab a sponge that you don't use for your dishes and throw a little soap and water and scrub out the sink trap and then toss in a new net and easy day. No more leftover yucky vegetables stuck on the bottom of your trap. If you're lucky enough to already have a stainless steel or metal sink trap, then the video is done for you. Enjoy your clean new sink. But if you're unfortunate like my old apartment and you have a plastic sink trap, these ones get moldy and nasty really quick and they're constantly in need of scraping and scrubbing. So tip number two is to head on over to your hardware store and exchange your plastic sink trap for a nice stainless steel one. And don't worry, they only run about 10 to 20 bucks. Now, before you head over to the hardware store, make sure to get out your measuring tape and measure the sink trap because they come in two standard sizes. They're either shallow or deep, and the diameter of the top is usually 134 to 135 millimeters or a 144 to 145 millimeter. And be sure you convert your units over to millimeters. They don't sell standard in Japan. The Before you head over to the hardware store, you want to know what it's called in Japanese. So these things are called gomi uke or haisui guchi gomi uke. And don't worry, I put that in Japanese in the description of this video so you can show a clerk if you need to. Now from my trip over to the local NAFCO, my local hardware store, I found a few different models available of these things. So let's compare and look at them. First, the plastic ones. I highly recommend not buying a plastic one. There's food waste and garbage and mold that gets stuck in these little cracks and grooves and it's really hard to clean out. You probably have to use a nylon or wire mesh brush and it's a never ending battle with mold and, and food gunk. So even these ones with the metal steel mesh, I don't recommend those either because just like certain colanders, food and leftover residue will get stuck in these, even if you do use a food net. But last but not least, if you can find one of these ones with the small round holes and mostly just stainless steel flat surface like this one, these are gonna be the easiest to clean, but sometimes they're a little hard for water to pass through. So they all have their advantages and disadvantages, but I'd recommend using the one with the flat metal surface and the round holes. Not to mention, it's only about 10 to 20 bucks. So for just a little bit of money, you're gonna save a lot of headache and a lot of time cleaning the food trap. This is one of the quickest and easiest ways to deal with a smelly sink in Japan. Honestly, I wish I knew about this earlier and thank God my wife taught me about these food nets. Otherwise, I'd still be battling the smelly, yucky sinks. I hope you found these two tips helpful, but I'd like to hear about how your experience went. So let me know the results if you tried these two tips or let me know if you do something else to take care of your food waste. Otherwise, if you have any questions about your home in Japan or like me to look into something for you, feel free to drop a comment and I'll get back to you with more posts soon. Thanks for watching to the end of this video, but guess what? Our relationship doesn't have to end here. Why not subscribe to my channel by clicking over here or like me on Facebook at White Rice Sensei, where each week I post lots of new things like free Japanese lessons and ideas and tips on how to make your life in Japan much more enjoyable. Hope to see you again soon and Jane.